This is a demonstration for the Sea Ray. This is a supplement to the Learn to Fly advanced course in the novelty plane category. Here we are coming into the area around the Toronto Islands. Lots of areas to splash down in there, certainly if there's no traffic. <laughs> let's take it down for a landing on the water and then let's drive it up onto the land. This is the Sea Ray home build amphibious. Just like that, gear would be down before you got to the land and we just pop it right up just like that. Two place, side by side, flying boat. You can see in here it's a nice low and slow machine, just like many of the home built aircraft are, that are around. Uses a Rotax, in this case it's a 914. Um, and look at the takeoff and landing specs on here 115 horsepower Rotax. 325 feet or so for landing and takeoff. 600 of these were built worldwide. So hi everybody, I'm Howard Forder from Forder Learn to Fly and we're just doing a review here and a test. Take this thing out on the water, see what it looks like. Here we see um, uh, sitting on the ramp at Toronto Island Airport where there is a sea base and uh, we might as well just increase the throttle here and just take it out onto the water. It's as simple as that. This is done all the time with Sea Rays. It's one of the biggest draws for this aircraft is the fact that you can just taxi over and plop it in the water just as we're doing right here. And then what we'll do for effect in this one is we'll just turn it around and come right back up on the same ramp without, without pulling the gear up, all right? We'll just leave the gear down, we'll just turn it around and then we'll pull it back up again to see how that goes. And that's the big draw. I've seen splashdowns or splash-ins as they call it. You know, it's like a fly-in where a bunch of sea rays will gather at somebody's cottage. They'll all come in by water, of course, and then they'll just taxi up into the person's backyard and, uh, and have their barbecue and then take off from there. That's the draw of this airplane, that's for sure. Inexpensive, relatively, compared to other airplanes, um, somewhere around the $100,000 range. 600 hours build time. You can buy it as a certified aircraft. Their latest version is uh, probably around 140,000 as a, as a pre-built already certified. Here in FSX you see the different liveries made right after the actual planes. Those are the real tail numbers for the real planes. And um, it's nice. You get to pick a, a, the color scheme that you like and away you go. I'm having a lot of fun with this probably would be more at home up in the smaller lakes further north instead of here on Lake Ontario. It can get pretty choppy here. If, uh, if, if the, the water, if the waves in the water come over the sides, then as the instructor told me in, in the real one, he said, uh, then you probably, you shouldn't be in the water. So, you know, the, the, the calmer lakes, the calmer days, of course. One of the big focuses here, now we're gonna come in on, on uh, Toronto Island Airport here for uh, a, a land landing. But uh, one of the big um, focuses here when we were out testing this for real, uh, we, we did their testing in Florida around the Orlando area. There's a the big seaplane base there and the main distributor for this thing. And uh, their big focus was the glassy water landings. The, the flying was fine. It was easy enough on land and water, all those other things. We kept doing glassy landings over and over and over because they're the hardest thing. And, the, and the, the, the general rule is just to set it for 50 feet per minute or even 100 feet, feet per minute and let it find the water. That's the general rule. So make sure you got enough space. But, but here when it does touch the water or here on the land, we only need about 350 feet or in the water we need about 425 feet to, to come to a full stop. So it can get in and out of some pretty tight places. And three-point landing, beautiful. We'll head over to the taxiway. Now that Rotax engine, that 914, is probably, uh, well, it's, it's the same engine they use in snowmobiles. So it can handle all kinds of weather. <laughs> That's the big draw. And um, um, here, here we'll just taxi off. I think to finish this demonstration, we'll, do, we'll just go out and, and we'll just do a, a takeoff from the runway, so you can see that in action, and then we'll plop it uh, immediately. We'll plop it down in the water and uh, finish the video from there. Hey, watch out for that taxiway light. Oops, that's going to leave a mark. Okay then, so it, it's just a demonstration. It's a lot of fun. I want you to go find this plane and go have some fun with it. Also, you're going to find that you'll just fall in love with the thing. 
uh, when you're in the real thing, you'll find that same kind of feeling. It has a stick inside, all right, for easy maneuverability. As with all inexpensive planes, they have a stick. It saves a lot of space and, uh, and cost. You see that little rudder at the back end there? It doesn't have to drop or come up. It just stays like that while it's in the water. It's very effective. All right, let's take it out for one last takeoff. I'm going to go midfield here because we don't need very much runway to take off. We certainly don't need the whole 4,000 feet of runway 26 and 08. All right, so let's do takeoff. Let's um, raise the gear and let's put it down in uh, the inner harbor at Toronto and we'll finish the demonstration at that point. Now you can see the airspeed will climb here and you'll just see that somewhere around the, uh, probably around the 45 mark, we can actually just offer it to the wind. I, I found that just holding it steady like this, it'll eventually just take off by itself. It just lifts, it just goes like that. All right, so now that we're up there, what we'll do is um, we'll just come around to the front here and let you see this in action. We'll see the landing. Let's just pull some gear now. Now this in-flight in simulator, it's the standard gear uh, key, of course. Um, and then now we just put some flap on, reduce throttle, and just glide into the water just like we've done with some other planes in demonstration here. So this is for the advanced course. It's an extra demonstration, just an extra video that I put together on trying to fly some of these other planes. This one was easy to learn, easy to fly, and hope you have some fun with it. All right, and you can see the shadow coming up. There, that's a successful splashdown. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Sea Ray, Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray flying boat.